guys, it's Jiwon from Korea now with the hottest entertainment stories from last week. Here we go! On November 25th, Big Hit Entertainment announced that TXD would be undergoing testing for COVID-19. This was because when they appeared in the children's show Ponyani, one of the performers was later found that he had contacted a COVID-19 patient. The day after the announcement was made, Big Hit Entertainment followed up by officially saying, TXT has tested negative for COVID-19 and will be resuming all scheduled activities. And the quintuple crown goes to BTS. According to Gaon Chart, BTS earned a quintuple crown by topping five charts last week. BTS's new album B has hit number one on the physical album chart with its title track Life Goes On, also debuting at number one on the digital download chart. The global pop star Alicia Keys even thrilled fans by recently sharing an unexpected cover of Life Goes On. Don't miss it out! Moreover, BTS' long-running hit Dynamite remains number one on both the overall digital chart and the streaming chart for the fourth consecutive week. Congratulations to BTS on their achievement! Fans of The Descendants of the Sun, wait for this news! Actor Song Joong Gi will host the Mnet Music Awards 2020 on December 6. This is the fourth time he is hosting MoMA after a gap of two years. The theme for upcoming ceremony is Newtopia and will be live streamed internationally. EXO main dancer Kai's first solo Kai dropped today with six tracks. The album has various R&B genre songs spotlighting his exquisite dancing skills. His debut title track is Mmm, along with Nothing On Me, Amnesia, Reason, Ride or Die and Hello Stranger. Recognized as a model for the Gucci brand, Kai directly participated in the styling concept for the album. He also proved his unique taste in fashion during an episode of Korean variety show I Live Alone, where he reveals two rooms filled with floor-to-ceiling wardrobes full of luxury clothing. Hua's upcoming 10th full-length album, Better, is to celebrate her 20th anniversary. You can see how she made the album in Hua's reality show, Nobody Talks to Hua. In episodes, she also shares how difficult it was to start her music career at the age of 13, including how lonely it had been for her. Debuted in 2000, she was the first Korean singer to top Japan's Oracle Music Chart and now nearly 20 years have passed. So guys, that was all the buzzers for this week and I hope you enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to Korea now.